वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ सिंधिया मेडिकल सेंटर इन आर सीरीज ऑफ हेल्थ टॉक्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एसिडिटी एसिडिटी इज अ वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम एंड यू कीप हियरिंग दैट आई हैव गॉट एसिडिटी पेशेंट कम एंड टेल अस आई हैव गॉट एसिडिटी दे फोन अप एंड से आई गॉट एसिडिटी नाउ वॉट एग्जैक्टली डज दैट मीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स वेन वी ईट फूड it goes through the esophagus and goes to the stomach in the stomach there are glands which produce acid to digest that food if this acid is in excess then what is required it gives a burning sensation and if this comes into the esophagus the food pipe we get that sensation in the chest also so this is the basics of acidity this is also known as acid peptic disease acidity can present in different ways there can be simple acidity and simple burning sensation in the abdomen this may be in the chest it some people call it heart burning also for that reason then this heart burning may even be in the throat sometimes it may cause difficulty in swallowing in some patients that it is a takes for a long time there may be burping there may be hiccups there may be heaviness after meals there can be restlessness in some patients there may even be breathing difficulty and wheezing that is whistling type of sound may be heard when the patient is breathing in acute cases there may be bleeding inside and there can be vomiting of blood or there can be black colored stool these are signs of acidity or acid peptic disease what are the factors that cause this it can be due to irregular food missed food bad eating habits excess of spicy fried food excess of table salt it can be due to all these it can also be due to certain medicines which we take especially those which we take as pain killers they can cause acidity in many people and can be really troublesome in some cases it may even be a signal that the patient may be having ulcer or he may be having cancer or he may be having some other major problem patients with gallbladder stone may also present as acid problem alcohol smoking using tobacco drugs these can also be contributory factors for acid peptic disease other causes can be excess of weight pregnancy premenopausal all these factors can also be reason for the acidity yes excess of stress and lack of exercise can play a major role in this disease it is important to treat this disease because if it is not treated it can lead to many other complications it decreases your work capacity you have sleepless nights it can lead to ulcer of the esophagus ulcer in the stomach and in some cases it is suspected to be even a precursor of cancer hence if you have any of these problems you must consult a doctor when you consult a doctor he will take a detailed history and after the history he may advise you some tests these tests may be endoscopy in which a camera is put through a tube inside the stomach and the esophagus and we have a direct look inside whether the acid is causing any problem over there or there may be a x-ray barium meal in which a medicine is swallowed and x-rays are taken other than this there are many new tests which may be helpful in diagnosing the condition after diagnosis you will be prescribed antacids which are liquid or tablets and also h2 receptor blockers like cimetidine famotidine ranitidine or proton pump inhibitors can also be prescribed and they are useful yes it must be kept in mind that you must remove the basic cause because if these medicines are taken over a prolonged period they have their own side effects hence we must change our lifestyle we must change our eating habits 
so these medicines are not required for a long period. There are also some home remedies for acidity like nariyal pani, coconut water, watermelon juice, mitha soda can be taken, soda bicarbonate, uh, having a glass of milk is also helpful or simply having simple water is also helpful. Chewing gum is also helpful. This chewing gum, that chewing gum, when we chew that, the saliva is produced and the saliva is alkaline and when it goes in the stomach, it neutralizes part of the acid. So these are the home remedies. Alkaline nature food is also helpful. But keep in mind, if it is a prolonged problem, if it happens again and again, you must meet the doctor. Another important thing is, when we get burning in the chest, which can also be as pain, it may be confused with heart attack. Heart attack, pulmonary embolism, these are serious conditions which are often mistaken to be acidity. Hence, never take heartburn or acidity lightly. Take it seriously, have it treated, because if not treated, it causes its own problems. And if it is angina presenting as acidity, we may miss the real diagnosis of heart disease. Hence, take acidity and heartburn seriously, because angina, heart disease may present as acidity. And if it is not detected and diagnosed in time, we may land up in the hospital with a heart attack. Hence, a proper diagnosis is a must. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring bell for notification of latest updates.